after grabbing a quick breakfast at one of the many coffee shops in downtown Sydney we decided to get out of the city not just to get away from congestion and the really rough and crazy driving <laughs> that we have been experiencing um, but to visit their wine country region which is Hunter Valley I don't or I yeah I don't see enough or many vlogs out there of the Hunter Valley wine country region so it really got me curious and it's about two hours north of Sydney if you're interested in visiting this way The drive up north to Hunter Valley was surprisingly uneventful. I was thinking that there was going to be valleys and mountains that we were going to drive through, but no, nothing. And entering the town of Cessnock. I guess it's where a bulk of the vineyards are located is very residential I would think that the main road going into or heading to the vineyards was going to be surrounded by vineyards and not towns So it looks like you have to just get through the town of Cessnick and into the byways of the town to get to this scenery, which is what I was looking for. It's beautiful out here and it's warm. only winery in New South Wales perched atop a foothill of the Broken Back mountain ranges. The 270 acre vineyard is named after one of Australia's early wine pioneers. Audrey Wilkinson planted the first vines in Pocobin in 1866. We just finished our wine tasting here at Audrey Wilkinson. I highly, highly recommend come here. The staff is just 100% fantastic. They are so personable that really you could spend, I don't know, an hour just chatting, not even about the wine. at the Hunter Valley Gardens there is a actual garden area as well as many shops and a few cafes here and we are going to grab some lunch Established in 1970, Brokenwood Wines is one of Australia's premium wine labels and consistently listed as a five-star winery. 
Their new complex includes a large tasting room that features circular tasting pods, an expansive outdoor terrace, two private tasting rooms, two private dining rooms, a wine museum, and a lounge area. heading back to Sydney to the hustle and bustle and crazy driving <laughs> laws and rules but first I think I need to buy another jacket or just a small light down from Uniqlo which is where I actually bought the jacket or ended up buying um, when I had shared yesterday that I needed some more layers and that's where I found it because it was the cheapest and the most reliable I couldn't find an Australian made type of jacket so I ended up there let me quickly interrupt the video right here because I have disappointing news to share I've been back from Australia for a couple of weeks now and as I am reviewing and proceeding to edit my videos, I discovered that I am missing a full day's worth of videos. I have somehow lost our travel day from Auckland to Sydney, which is also our first full day in Sydney. That included renting our car, a tour of the car, having to drive on the other side of the road, following foreign rules, and the challenges that we faced on that first day, a tour of our fantastic Airbnb, and our walk around the central business district area. I don't remember any accidents that could have resulted in deleting those videos because I normally back up all my videos nightly if not at the most two nights. It's funny that when I discovered that I'm missing videos or that I've lost these videos, how dependent I've become on them as my point of reference and as my memory tools. In any case, I might refer to our first day in Sydney to subsequent videos. So please excuse the unfamiliarity. So now, let's go back to the regular program. Something I learned about the Hunter Valley wine country. The type of wine they make here is Tempranillo, Shiraz, and Semillon. I've never heard of Semillon. So, that's a little factoid we are on Harbor Bridge right now. I want you guys to take note of how two opposing traffics, there's one and then there's us. There's absolutely no barriers <laughs> between the two opposing traffic. That is nuts. But here, this one has this sort of um, what is that shoulder like um, division? But over here, over here, nothing. And then I gotta go right. Definitely gotta get used to, or something to get used to. This 
decide to drive over here.